Mr. Chairman, thank you very much. Mr. Dondero, uh, welcome. Mr. Horowitz, uh, good to see you again. I'd like to focus my question to you while it's this general subject. We've had conversation about ideas that went back and forth with the administration. Is there anybody at work? How are, are they there? Are they you working with them? They're answering questions. Uh, give me an idea about people at work, at least for the last two years. What that? What has that been like? Yeah, no, we are um, engaged with folks. The labor IG has been engaged with the labor department um, to try and uh, address long-standing problems. As the congresswoman said, this is not new. Um, we've been engaged with. OMB leadership and White House leadership to try, along with the Labor IG, to try and push these issues forward and get them addressed because the numbers are staggering. Well, if they're staggering, then what's the progress uh, that they have come back to? You've had meetings. We, what have they said? We've made some progress. Just to give you a sense of the, the, some of the basic issues, the Labor IG, because these programs are managed by 54 entities, the 50 states and other territories, the labor IG needed to send regularly subpoenas to the 50 states to get the data because that data isn't housed at the Labor Department. So all 50 so, states denied information? No, no, they didn't. But to get it, you needed to go to them and ask for it, and they needed legal process to be able to send it. So we now have it at the PRAC. We're looking at it. Just to give you an example. Um, you know, it was found because it's a, this um, uh, locally based system, one social security number we've identified to date so far was used in 29 states because they don't, the systems don't talk to each other. They're not managed at the labor department at the federal level. They're managed at the state level. And it's, frankly, it's not fair to blame the states for that. They're not um, resourced to be able to fix and modernize their various systems. Some states have done more than others, but they're all, I think, it's fair to say, if not all, most are struggling with this. But not a new issue. Not a new issue at all. And GAO has probably been at the forefront of that with the labor IG speaking of this. Yeah. I, I think, you know, part of the problem, Congressman Sessions, is there's not sustained attention to these issues over time. And these issues require multi-year efforts. And, uh, you know, we've been working with the uh, agencies, but quite frankly, where there are state-administered programs, Medicaid's another one, for example, which has huge improper payments, where it's administered at the state level, the federal agencies give a lot of discretion to the states, and quite frankly, there's not enough oversight on the part of the states. Now, this is a particular issue in the unemployment insurance program, because in normal times, it's state money that's le leveled on employers that pay, and there's no federal uh, funds involved until there's a, an issue where they need the money. And so there's, there's not a good sense of direction as to how involved uh, our country wants the federal government to be involved in state-administered systems. And so you, you run into a federalism issue a bit with these programs, and quite frankly, I think it would benefit from congressional oversight and direction as to what uh, signals that you want to send to okay, these Okay, well, we, we agree with that, Mr. Dondero. Yeah. Is there yeah. still such a thing that we invented with you years ago, 97, the high-risk series? It's still there. And, still there. And SBA, two programs are on emergency loans, are on the high-risk list, along with the unemployment insurance program. And there's 37 areas. We're getting ready for our normal update at the beginning of each new Congress. So we're ready to unveil the update on the list soon. That'd be great. Well, one question, is this information on your website for the agency, or where do we find this information? Uh, it's on our website. We have a whole special section, a medallion. It's gao.gov. And there, there's on our homepage, there's a, a medallion that says high risk list. Great. I want to thank all three of you. Uh, the, the gentleman, Mr. Smith, please know that the Secret Service is a valuable organization to us, but you should know that you've got employee problems. 
that we've been work, trying to work on for years, and I encourage your management to look at that, about how they treat their employees and how quickly they respond back to the needs of those people. And I appreciate each of your time. Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Thank you. Chair, now recognize Mr.